Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the WIP transition in Camtasia 2020. All right, so the WIP transition is my most favorite transition to use, and you can find it here in the transitions tab. And let me just scroll down. It's called WIP Spin. And you can see that it has like a cool effect and most people use it on video, but I find that using it on pictures and text can be really cool as well. So let me just show you the whip transition in action. So I've got a test video here. It's me talking about the click and grow setup. I'm going to silence this audio and we'll just chop it up to make it just like a small little piece here. All right, so here is the clip and I'm gonna head over to transitions and it's called whip spin. When you click the star, you can put it in your favorites. So I have it right here in my favorites to save time. And I'm just gonna click it and drag it down. Now you can see that you can only put it like in the beginning or at the end of the clip. So I'm going to put it there in the beginning and then we will go back to the beginning here and I'm going to press play space bar and you can see it has a really cool effect on it. Now when you click on this you can see that there are some there's very few things that you can do but you can actually do the reverse of that and this type here just says whip spin. If you click on it, you can change the transition completely, but it if you want it to be whip spin, you need to leave it on whip spin. And pretty much you can only make it go reverse. So if I click the reverse and I do it now, then it's going to go the other direction, which is really cool. So most people use it on video, but you can actually use it on shapes on images, on text. So let's head over and do some shapes. So I'm going to go over to annotations and then go over to shapes and then let's say the star here. I'll drag, drag that down here and then I'll add the whip transition by going to my favorites, going to whip spin, and then you can click on it and see that it is going to be going forward. So if I play it, you can see that it's like, I mean, if you had like a bunch of, right, just as I saw that, you could do like a cool space thing for sure on that one. Now you can see when I hover over it, it says that the duration of the whip spin is was one second. If you want to make it longer, you just need to drag it and, and it'll be slower. So I'll show you that in a second here. Press play. So it's going slow now. So you can do some pretty cool things with this whip transition. And I, I it's pre-made. It's pre-made by Camtasia and they did a good job pre-making it. And you can see that I stretched it out to three seconds. And if I want to go back to the shorter time, then you can squish it all the way down here. But um, just know that the shortest you can go is 0 0.01 second, but that'll be like really fast. You probably won't e barely even see it. It'll just appear. So you want to make sure that your transition's at least one second long. And you can see that it does a pretty fast effect. But if you do want to slow it down, you can stretch it out and then it will look like that. Let's head over back to annotations, go to the text, and let's do this on some text. So I'm going to drag some text down, and then let's make it a little bit more bold, and let's add a transition on that. So I'll go to the favorites, add transition, and you can see when I go back a little bit, it's it's a really cool effect and if I want to slow it down like that and if I want it reversed I just make sure that it's highlighted click the reverse and then it'll go backwards 
So something like that. And there's many cool things that you can do with this. And I was just going around in the uh, media libraries that Camtasia offers. And I went into library and I went into Camtasia 2020. And I was just looking through their icons. And then I saw this fast forward button. And I was like, oh, that's a cool one. So I grabbed that, drag it down here, make it a bit smaller, something like that. And then they also have a, a rewind one. So I'll grab that one too, and then make it a little bit smaller, and then put that there. Now for the fast forward one, we can grab the whip transition. And this is how like my mind is always thinking. I'm always trying to think like, okay, how can I uniquely do something with Camtasia when I see something like a whip spin? So if you're wanting to do like, um, you know, say that it's like you're doing like a vlog or something and you're saying like fast forward to now, you can have like a fast forward icon pull up here and then put it on the beginning and then press play and then it's like it did a fast forward. Then you could do, if you want to go rewind, you know, you want to go back in time or something while you're talking in a video, then you can drag that on there. And then you can go click on it and then go reverse. And then it's going to go back the other direction to kind of simulate a, a rewind, right? And then you can either slow it down by stretching it out play it here right and then the rewind and it's just it just looks really cool and you can just add this you know in between something something is happening in your project just you know make it stand out a little bit so those are some ways to play around with the whip spin transition like I said it's my favorite one so I would highly recommend playing around with this and including it in your projects. All right, guys, so that was the whip spin transition in Camtasia 2020. If you guys like these videos, you guys can head down to the description below because I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course that you guys can get two months free access to. It's got over 70 lectures. And if you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend checking it out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.